Hey guys, Hugh Kirby here with another episode of Borderlands. In the last episode, we took down General Knox, and in this episode, we're going to be starting the final DLC over in Tartar Station. What adventures await await us here? Who knows? We start off on a little cliffside. There. Our story began when the Hyperion Corporation decided they'd had enough of the treasure hunters. With the vault on lockdown, they had served their purpose. And now they were a drain on the economy. Why pay full price for weapons when you can take a five-finger discount off the nearest corpse? Hyperion was looking to clear up the drain, but those That's guys were one wrong, tough says, hairball. I thought you said the treasure hunters were great. Now they're the hairball? Uh, well, yes, uh, you see, the treasure hunters were blocking the flow of, uh, uh, and the grimy buildup of money and... Uh, this metaphor stinks. Uh, uh, shut up! Point is, Hyperion had a plan. The treasure hunters could handle all manner of beastie, bandit, and battalion, but they weren't expecting the interplanetary ninja assassin claptrap. Yep, this we're going back to the ending thing. was programmed to take our boys out indirectly. Trapping, poisoning, spreading catty rumors around town. Nothing was off limits. He was smart. Too smart. He looked around and didn't like what he saw. Claptraps being subjugated, humiliated, obliterated. What we call programming, he called slavery. So, he rallied his fellow claptraps and turned them against their corporate masters. What started as a rebellion became a revolution. And take a wild guess who Hyperion called to clean up the mess. Yep, us. Uh, this isn't the first time we clean, we'll be cleaning up higher parents' messes. We have an entire game on that. It's called Borderlands 2. Anyway, yeah, this continues from basically the the story. The end story. So, oh, is this the only count? You'll see what I mean. But enter this familiar little hut. And we have Tannis! Batteries to power, turbines to speed. Ooh, I wonder what this does. I like that. Screwball. Over here! I need your help with something. Are you from these parts? Bring Tannis to clap our parts. But you said Tannis needs parts to build her magnificent something. Head down to Hyperion Dump and search to scrap clap traps for parts and bring it back to her. We already have some hamstring here. Somebody tells me that's that's kind of mean. Oh, well. honestly, out of the, this one, I kind of like it. There's only one point where we have to backtrack for a side quest, and honestly, these you don't really get swarmed a lot. And over here we have basically a gun stuff. Okay, is this gonna be? No, it's not stronger than the one I have. Wait. Huh? Weird. Oh. Well. Alright, so what we have is still better. No ammo capacity, and do we have anything good? Sadly, no. Yeah, sadly, no. Oh well. Let's go on our merry way to do this. We'll be hearing that again in our in my last playing career because I do because I plan on 
LPing the uh, Bioshock series. Not sure where to start from though. I don't know if I should start from Bioshock 1. And yes, we have a return of our friends, the Torrents. Why? Because, duh. Like seriously, I hate the fact that they brought back turrets in this DLC. Where's that guy shooting at me from? Oh, we'll ignore these guys. Yep, we are back to fighting just normal ban normal bandits and stuff again. Now, I believe I already said this in the, during the finale of uh, General Knox, but had we um, been playing on um, on uh, playthrough two, after we killed Knox, the missions would actually enemies and missions would actually jump to our level. So basically, we wouldn't be overpowered for. So I, so I, like I said, I do want to apologize for the fact that, oh, I'm stronger than all, than everything. Honestly, playthrough two, once that occurs, you kind of need a partner. Yeah, I want, I tried to actually do, do the, uh, playthrough two alone. I can get through the game alone. I can get through the main game alone on playthrough two, but basically once you take down take down down Nox, you can't. Yeah, those stuff kind of starts getting a bit too hard. I'll I'll honestly admit. So that's kind of why we're just doing doing this. this. Ignore it, because I don't I hate those. Oh. Poor little guy. Jump down here. Not take any da any damage. Oh, it's badass brute. By the way, all the names you are seeing for the enemies, these are uh, playthrough two names. These are all the names enemies go by during playthrough two. So basic, yeah. So I'll take, yeah. Which honestly, I like the fact that they do that. This step mission is also not that not that hard, by the way. So now we need to go go this way. Honestly, the only really annoying things are just basically just enemies getting annoying. You know, just like eh. There's a bunch of skags down that way, but we don't have a wait reason to go down there. Like, seriously, we really don't. There's no reason for us to go down that way. Hi. Go away now. Good boy. I do apologize to the guys for the fact that basically I wasn't able to show the arenas, but there's not really a point to them, it's just PvP.
Huh, someone dropped a shield. Oh well. I don't care. Fire for this one. Anyway, so big okay, so something I do actually want to talk about. Alright Eh. I actually forgot what I was gonna talk about. Oh. Excuse me, I'm checking something out, sir. You mind not being there? Dad, we can actually check that out. Like, that's cool. That's cool. It was floating. Anyway, let's just fly back to our radium weapon because, like I said, I want to actually do this more. And over here we have have an easy one, and continue down the path for the next one. This is quite easy. Hey, I wonder what that cloud trap's doing. Probably running from bandits. Oh, hello. Enter here. Halt. Put down your weapons. Hyperion Corporation does not wish to harm them. Hyperion, super bad, soldier. Yep, yep, fight, yep, it, yep. Beat up down the Hyperion soldiers. Which are basically just Lance reskins. Seriously, they are just literally Lance reskins. Honestly, they're honestly the Hyperion soldiers are really annoying because this time the armor is not just for show. It's actually, oh hey, we actually just want we actually have armor and we're wearing them. So are you mess mess kiss it? I jump for that. Maybe it's not that powerful. Oh. Click the last part. Open this. Egg. Oh, well, no, no. Those fucks are attacking us. Yep. Our main enemy in this uh, this DLC are basically clap traps. Literally. They come in multiple types. There is Freedom Fighter, which utilizes guns. That's it for right now. Oh. Yeah, that's it for right now. Yeah, well, maybe it was just a fluke that we counted those clap traps. I'm sure there's nothing wrong with that. I also forgot that there's two instances, but it's not that bad. I honestly like listening to the clap chat to you. Clap chat getting those giving those super speeches. I really like those. It they're they're funny. 
You know, I like, I like that. It's like, of course not. Because they're better than all you stinky meat, meat flag, flat meat bags. Anyway, let's return to Tannis. Do you need something? You got Tannis for parts. Oh, of course, you still got a couple of screws loose. <laughs> Fight for your right to part E. Tannis, get more Tannis. Clap your points for Tannis. Tannis needs more parts to complete a creation's infinite improbability draft. Can I think the long round just around some clap trap series? Yeah, 42. Yep. This is Mr. Blake, Senior Vice President in charge of mercenary relations and tourism for the Hyperion Corporation. You know, the company whose troops you just ruthlessly slew. There are more missions available at the Hyperion Tourism yep. Information Board. New contact. Meet with Blake in Tartar Station. Hyperion VP, Mr. Blake, wants to meet the crew that accidentally slaughters Retcon team. Oops, final Tartar Station. Well, they attacked us first. But we're going to be doing the side mission because honestly, it I like doing the side mission next because it's kind of a weird thing. When upon returning, you find Borg type enemies. Yeah, the Claptrap Borgified a lot of the enemies. In fact, every non-Claptrap enemy you encounter, this is what you fight. And they, yeah, and, and almost, and they ha now have all new uh, voice clips that are basically claptrap fight. They still fight basically the same thing. It also kind of makes you wonder, how the heck did they get get the enemies borgified so fast? Technically, yes, it is, tech, it is technically borgified. But what we're looking for are the Claptrap enemies. Like I said, honestly, the Claptrap enemies aren't that powerful. And I say that and I got a Kamikaze. That was a Kamikaze Claptrap. Yeah, we also have basically... We also have the Hyperion guys already Claptrap board too. Unfortunately for us, only the Claptrap enemies themselves. Master Samurai all utilize basically basically unify melee weapons. Barrels, fish, that thing. They're also kamikaze clap traps too. Yeah, be just be careful about in this area though. Because there are a lot of claptrap enemies in the in these areas. You can kind of be swarmed a lot. Hey, come on. I went back up a little bit to re get some health. But yeah, the claptrap enemies kind of get, get swarmy. So honestly, be careful. Honestly... Shotguns work the best because most of them are actually just, they really do have shitty shitty de shitty defenses and shitty HP. It's like honestly a good weapon to take which is a good wet a good a a good shotgun actually kinda of decimates the whole decimates clap trap enemies. And it's not because I'm I'm such a, at such a high level. It's mostly because they really have shitty HP. Like I took out like almost seventy five percent of his health, and I and from a lunge 
distance shot. Anyone basically non um, claptrap though, I do recommend just going after them with your guns. Yeah, see, basically, Hyperion enemies are essentially just, are essentially just Crimson Lance under a new skin. Honestly, I think, honestly, this one's kind of my more favorite of the DLCs. Mostly because I just find it funny the fact that we're just fighting clap traps. And the fact that they've just Borgify a lot of, a lot of the enemies you already been facing. Like, like, that's just what the fuck. I just love, I just love this one for just how, what the fucky it is, okay? It's just... That's why I like this DLC. It's just... This is when I feel that the writing is the best. Because they just wanted to go, okay, how can we just be super fucking goofy? Claptrap's going... Claptrap's going nuts and just shooting people. Clap... Yeah, I will be reiterating my, this point when I... When um, I'm done with this. Because I just love this DLC so much. Hey, we're halfway through here. So yeah, just on. Yeah, like I said, just be careful. Like I said, they swarm like the claptrap enemies themselves. I don't mean the the um the trap type enemies, like basically the Borg enemies or synthonoids. I honestly, I see them more as Borgs, mostly because just it makes me feel like that but it's like the clap trap enemies just easily can swarm you so they're just like the zombies zombies from Dr. Zed oh, I think that's, oh. luckily for you the kamikaze cl clap traps actually do damage to their buddies Oh well, I'm ready for full, full HP. Oh. Yeah, honestly, the... Yeah, basically, just... I apologize for this one. This is boring to people, but it's like, honestly... It... I most of the reason why I did this is basically to show off the, um... The Borg enemies. You know, the, the, you know, those, uh, bandit traps. Those, that's why I kind of did that. Yep, did I miss them? Oh, no, no, no. That's, that's kind of why I did this DLC. What's that green? I will take the greens at least, just to get the No, you got the pro. Oh, sticky. Okay, I don't care. The carnage. The carnage. <laughs> also, I'm missing five. Ah, damn it. Damn it. I'm missing five. Let's go down here. Open this up. Please don't be gun pistols. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh. I'm gonna go and try this one. That's actually pretty damn cool. That's pretty damn accurate. And plus 20 bullets? Sure. I'll take a large mag, the large mag uh, shotgun. Alright. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to reset the, set the area. So let's go. Who's there? Who's there? Ah. Uh. 
Oh, it's just one of you. Uh, getting my hopes up for a clap trap. Stupid. But I noticed those zeros I was giving that guy. That was because I was shooting his armor, his arm plates. So it's kind of dumb that they did that. Like, that they don't. That's uh, such a dang. Something with the clap drops respond. I mean, it's like they don't give the clap. They don't. They didn't give the um. They didn't give the um. The Crimson Lance, that stuff. So why should I be just be doing that? You know, it's like, why should I just be doing that? We're just gonna run past these guys. Just cause they're just, eh. Also, this, this, this is down here. Give us remote, open parts, remote access, or give us death. There's now a few signs of here all in every area you go to in this, so I'll be looking at those during the DLC. Also, I want to sell this stuff. Clean out my stuff. And just check on this. We grab these two. We'll just, we'll go and, yeah, we'll reset, we'll, we'll reset the area. So that's usually what, what happens. You know, so it's like, I apologize if this part's a little bit boring, but it's like, yeah, it's like, I just, it's kind of a shocking little beginning. So honestly, I would not worry about, oh, doing this. But like I said, I like this DLC. This is when they go start embracing. Let's just do stupid shit with our story. Okay? They go stupid because like really Claptrap's wanting to kill everyone. That's hilarious. Anyway, now that anyway you know, return to this, the Claptrap should now be respawned. Oh hey, missed only missed missed one. So the you know, so now the clap trap should be coming back again. Oh, missed missed this. Are you kidding me? all right i'm going to end this episode here next time uh i will be um yeah next episode we're gonna start off back at tanis with me having the remaining four clap trap components so thanks for watching guys i will see you all next time take care everyone